After six weeks of conflict this autumn, Armenia and Azerbaijan signed a Russia-brokered ceasefire agreement last month. The repercussions of the war, though, are still being felt by local residents. Terms of the truce included 2,000 Russian peacekeepers being deployed along the Lachin Corridor, separating Armenian and Azeri territory. That split one small community right in half. Lika Barazure reports. As a result of the Nagorno-Karabakh war, Tarabart village in Nagorno-Karabakh was split into two parts. In one part, called Kaller Tarabart, the Armenian community has remained, while Azerbaijanis conquered the other area. Nearly 400 people from this village have been displaced and Susanna is just one of them. We left the whole house. We woke up, heard that they were already shooting at the village, and we didn't have time to take anything. We just went out in the clothes we had on. When we heard that a ceasefire agreement had been signed, we returned to Stepanakert. Now we're trying to adapt a little to the fact that possibly we'll have to stay here. Those who remain in Galler Tavart are also concerned. Living close to the border worries many of those who have stayed. Samvel, with his wife and children, were the first family that came back to the village. Before this war, we felt 90% safe, but now we feel 30% safe. I'm not afraid. I've seen so much in my life, but my children are afraid. We do not have weapons. The village has been split into two parts. I don't know if it's possible to live here. Here is the 30-meter border between Karabakh and Azerbaijan in the middle of Tarawat village. The Russian flag stands between them. During the war, the residents of the village were defending themselves, but now the Armenian army replaced them. Graves belonging to Armenians are also on the other side of the border, cutting off families from visiting the resting place of their loved ones.